for there to be a criminal charge there must be an offer made uh, or there must be some soliciting of a bribe that happened and it must be proven and only then can the MACC step in because membeli MP memang salah but to catch people red-handed is if they pay MPs and MPs suddenly possess inexplicable wealth uh, unexplained wealth uh, suddenly and money is coming in into their account or their family's account and if there's a paper trail and there is a story uh, that's leaked to the MACC MACC follow the leaked story and the paper trail is established uh, that means ada habuan, ada suapan ada suapan and ada janji untuk shift uh, the support to Perikatan Nasional uh, now if let's say it's done and let's say lah tak boleh detect pun and let's say lah they manage to pull uh, deny PMX dengan Madani government uh, from the 112 kerusi and they in turn have 100 lebih pas 112 112 atau lebih kerusi to form government uh, this is by way of SD because no way all of them can go to the Agong to tell him even whether it's in Dubai ke tak so kalau pergi ke Agong uh, uh, untuk Dubai then uh, Agong dengar uh, let's say lah Agong pun percaya ok betul ok lah dengar based on what you say what you claim uh, that Anwar Ibrahim has really lost confidence Agong is not going to facilitate any more tebuk atap punya government Okay, he's not going to appoint a new prime minister simply because a particular party he says that he uh, has majority support the day one now that has got to be tested in the day one so therefore Agong whether it's this Agong or the future Agong they will all tell the uh, walaun walaun yang uh, desperate ni the desperate walauns go to the parliament table the motion of no confidence against Anwar that's it so kalau that thing passes okay then uh, Anwar will have to go to the Agong and request for dissolution of the uh, the parliament ataupun resign Agong at that point of time boleh decide to appoint orang lain but why would Agong do that? Uh, just because Agong did Muhyiddin dulu bagi jadi PM but the circumstance then dictated so because it was COVID it was MCO tak ada ubat orang mati scores of people dying and it was virulent and deadly now COVID dah jadi endemic Ah, the Omicron punya virus although very virulent it doesn't go to the lungs and hardly people mati pun tak banyak uh, common cold lagi banyak orang mati so activity economy is on full blast uh, concert orang attend uh, ceramah orang attend uh, pilihan raya berapa kali dah so crowded malam ni pun new year semua orang pun pergi Uh, uh, tak, panggung wayang semua buka so why would there uh, be a need to appoint a prime minister uh, without going through elections so therefore kalau lah they manage to buy every MP pun Agong will know that money is involved and MP dah betray the trust of the voters so what Agong is going to facilitate now that you know this transaction to happen and for the new government to take over tebuk atap again and Agong tak tahu ke apa jadi dulu what happened when when he allowed tebuk atap the last time the abuses and all the scandals the royals talk they meet among themselves they are not going to help destroy their country lah this is also their country tau so therefore Agong will just tell them ok bawa to the parliament Dissolve Parliament, uh, apa ni, Parliament, Agong akan perkenankan and we will head straight back to GE16. So therefore, this Madani government, Anwar apa semua, are, are not the least perturbed about a kerajaan tebuk atap. Faham tak? 
what they should instead be worried about is bila kalau kita election awal and Anwar sebelum ni dok sibuk main politik saja what has he got to show what is his balance scorecard apa apa report card dia ha apa yang dia achieve dia dok sibuk jadi menteri ha? kebajikan and perdana menteri untuk Gaza saja sekarang ni mostly and apa ni ha? reform adalah sam adalah apa ni strengthening balik kita punya mata wang pun ada sikit tapi uh, IDF pun apa ni foreign investment pun uh, dah masuk balik sikit dah adalah improvement uh, okey lah for berapa apa ni setahun punya becami PM uh, tapi kalau cepat kita GE16 tak sempat 5 tahun for to show so therefore I already advise PM pun uh, kalau dah dengar tak mau tak mau dengar tak apa nak dengar dengar enough for politics now be a leader push for the reforms faham tak Ha? Jadi apa ni ha, Bila tak buat semua tu ha, Jadi kalau tiba-tiba snap election ha, Then bila kalah Jangan terpingah-pingah Jangan tanya kenapa Jangan blame opposition Because opposition yes try nak tebuk atap sekarang ni Tapi kalau agung tak bagi It goes to the ballot box Then it's fair and square It is what the rakyat pilih So kalau dulu It's all about the apa ni Anwar apa punya the, the boogeyman Anwar Anwar apa ni henchman DAP Anwar ejen Yahudi ejen US uh, pro LGBT nak hapuskan sutan-sutan Melayu nak hilangkan bahasa Melayu nak padamkan Islam uh, semua tu is andaian dan uh, daya-daya dan fitnah against Anwar sekarang ni dia dah jadi PM tak ada pun semua tu in fact he's against all those things Nampak? Dia protect semua Sanctity of Raja Melayu punya hak Islam Semua tu Jadi All those are debunked ha, Tapi ha, Whatever people say now About Anwar lagi Anwar kena continue debunking And being a good leader And reform Tapi kalau reform tak berapa jadi ha, And kleptocrats Appears to be walking free Zahid punya kes tak apa juga jadi Zahid punya kes is DNA tu Takkan sampai bila DNA What's happening? What's happening to the investigations? Ah, ha, senyap je So, bila sampai time Kalau elections Kita punya opposition Walaupun walaupun PN Dia akan tukar taktik Dia nak guna cucuk and beli MP lagi dah Nak, nak beli apa masa tu lah ha, Rakyat akan pilih ha, So, bila rakyat akan pilih They will play up lah benda-benda macam ni So therefore Madani government better pull their socks up And stand by Get ready to go for elections As early as next year Faham tak? Kalau Hisham Budin and the rest uh, Tak sabar-sabar nak keluar dari Madani government Be prepared Itu saja yang patut worry Tak payah worry pasal kerajaan tebuk atap The royals will not allow it They will not facilitate A kerajaan haram tebuk atap Period Somebody had promised to give me a new iPad um, early in the year and then he later said that uh, it will be at the end of the year when he gets his bonus and now he tells me that he didn't achieve his performance uh, target and didn't get his bonus so no iPad for me. 
so I'd like to um, do some fundraising to get a new iPad because the iPad that I use now is seven years old and uh, every few months I have to send it for repair it's really on its last legs so I'm gonna put my account number here and um, if you can transfer whatever you can afford that would be a great help now if we had if we have um, 11,300 subscribers and each subscriber donated one ringgit then I could get the iPad it's I have to get one with the high specs you know the two terabyte two terabytes of memory because making these videos um, is quite memory intensive and I want to future proof it so that it could last me another seven years if I get one with small memory it will cause no end of issues for me Okay, so if you can do that, and once I raise funds to get a new iPad, If you have any interesting ideas that can help build a better Malaysia, please put them in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, the subscription is free, you don't have to pay money. And we don't, you know, uh, YouTube doesn't give us your information. So there's no list of uh, subscribers. I just know the number of subscribers, but no information about who the subscribers are. And... Um, we are not monetized, so there's no advertisements. When you click on our videos, you straight away uh, watch our videos. You don't have to see annoying ads. Anyway, now please subscribe if you haven't done so, and please share our videos uh, far and wide. Terima kasih. Wassalam. in this video resonated with you be sure to like it share it with your friends leave a comment and as always don't forget to subscribe